Dr. John Kennedy, Louisiana Republican, who serves as a member of the Judiciary Committee, among others. And we want to talk to you about Facebook as well. But for, uh, first, um, a thought on, on China, if I may. And I want to just play this from Joe Biden on mm -hmm. the campaign trail in Iowa and then get your response to all of this, sir. Watch. He's always tough when someone else is feeling the pain. And he's not. But we're going to make him feel the pain before this is over. Senator Kyle. Well, uh, Vice President Biden and President Obama had an opportunity to uh, stand up to China. They didn't do it. They let China roll over America like thunder on a summer night. Mm. Look, God created the world, Martha, but everything else is made in China. <laughs> and how did we get to this point? I'll tell you how. We let China become a member of the World Trade Organization on December 11, 2001. China started cheating December 12. And everybody who does business in China knows that when it comes to trade, China will steal the hair off your head. Now, President Trump has been the first president since 2001 who's been willing to stand up and say, enough. Um, the situation we find ourselves in is, is not just about money. It's about whether China is going to become part of the world order. And uh, we are, for the first time, of any country. You haven't seen Germany step up to the plate no, or England true. or Macron in France. We, we are stepping up to the plate and saying enough is enough. Yeah. Uh, now, what do we do about this situation? What ahead. do we do about the situation? President Trump's a smart guy. Uh, he knows that the only way to win a long-term trade war is don't fight the thing. Here, here's what I'd like to see him do. Here's what, let me put it another way. If I were king for a day, I'm not, and I don't aspire to be, but here's what I'd do. I'd pick up the phone and I'd call President Xi Jinping and say, we need to meet. And I'm not talking in a, in a neutral location. I'm not talking about a two-hour meeting and then a photo op. We need to have a summit, at least three days. You and me, neutral location. Let's sit down and see if we can figure out a way to... Uh, to have China obey the rules of trade that we all recognize, and America's willing to give up something too. Uh, much, much like uh, Gorbachev and Reagan did yeah. in Iceland in 1986. It's an interesting idea. It's an interesting idea. We, we, also, we, also, we also need some more transparency in terms of what China wants and frankly, what America's position is as well. Yeah, no, uh, it's an interesting idea. And I called you uh, Senator Kyle before because I was looking at my notes and thinking about Facebook, which is the other thing that I wanted to ask you about tonight, Senator Kennedy. Um, and that is the fact that, that Senator Kyle, John Kyle of Arizona, former senator, oversaw a commission where Facebook was going to open up their books, their algorithms, and try to figure out if they are, if those algorithms are biasing against conservative thought on the biggest social media platform in the world. And so they did all this and then they came back and this, they said, the report concludes that Facebook's efforts to counter misinformation have silenced some conservative voices on the platform. And after that, there was sort of precious little in terms of, of detail or how, of how anything is gonna change after this commission. Well, number one, uh, Senator Kyle's a great guy. Um, but he wasn't doing this report. I don't mean any disrespect out of the goodness of his heart. Uh, he and his law firm were paid to do this report by Facebook. That's mm -hmm. point one, point two. Facebook is a fine American company. Great success story. I'm proud of them. Uh, but uh, Facebook has a casual relationship with the truth. And um, we, let's face the facts. Facebook is no longer a company. It's a country. It's got two billion users. It can influence what we buy, how we vote, uh, what we think, even how we feel. And nobody on Capitol Hill understands what Facebook is doing or, or its motivation. If Facebook is serious about convincing both Democrats and Republicans that it is unbiased and impartial, then Facebook needs to uh, invite in a third party, an objective third party, to do an audit and see if it is true, as was alleged by former Facebook employees in 1986 mm -hmm. in an article that uh, Facebook puts its thumb on the scale and suppresses information from conservatives 
and promotes information from certain left-leaning news sites. Now, I didn't make, just make that up. These are former Facebook employees. I don't know if it's true or not, but I, I, I don't, I don't want to get hit by the same truck twice here. We trusted Facebook, and we know from the things Facebook yeah. has said and the things, way things turned out that Facebook has a casual relationship all right. With the truth. So, you know, put me down as doubtful. All right. We will put you down as doubtful. Senator John Kennedy, Louisiana, always good to see you, sir. Thank you very much for being here tonight. Thank you, Martha. You bet. Coming up next to Trump administration.